Today, I'm gonna to be taking this guitar body that I built and adding some color. So what I'm planning on doing is making a, a lemon burst of sorts. So uh, yellow, goldish, and then a little darker on the edges. And I'm gonna do that using uh, some pre-mixed dye. Uh, so let's see how it goes. So to get started, uh, I'm gonna use gold dye, which is a lot like the yellow, uh, I, I think mixed with brown. And so what I have here is just, you know, a, a, a shop towel, obviously I've got gloves on, and you know, this is an alcohol-based um, dye, if I'm not mistaken. And so what I can do is just rub this on here. It should dry pretty quickly, you know, something like you know, 30 minutes or an hour. And at least the, the intent here is to put the, the darker gold on to get it all in the, you know, get, uh, stay in the maple, um, to, to really get the quilted figure to, um, to pop. I'll sand it back a little bit, depending on what it looks like. And then I'm going to go over the, the center and try and make the, the sunburst, uh, shape where you sand the middle out and, and make it lighter and then go over the whole thing with yellow, you know, such that, the middle of this will be uh, mostly yellow dye, and then towards the edges, what you'll have is, is the gold color. And it doesn't take very much of this dye. Um, put a little bit on your, your rag. Already you can see the the quilt of this guitar just going crazy. Because I'm using black plastic binding, I'm not too worried about uh, getting the dye on the binding. Of course, one of the main techniques here is to start in the middle and wipe off. If you come back this way, then you have the uh, potential of actually hitting the side with your rag, uh, getting dye where you don't want it. Um, but again, because I have black plastic here, um, the dye shouldn't soak in anyway. Um, and if it did, I could just you know, lightly uh, use a razor blade to clean it up. One more time here. All right, so my first coat is done. Um, I'll let this sit for a while, maybe I'll go eat lunch, and then uh, you know, 30 minutes or an hour, uh, come back and um, possibly do a second coat, um, or potentially just jump right to the, um, the sanding. I'm coming back to do a second coat of gold. You can see that uh, this dried a little splotchy, um, I put more on, you know, this left side than the right side. And so to counteract that, I'm just going to put a second coat on uh, and I'm going to start on this side rather than that side. Because effectively, I think what happened was I had just wet the rag and then done it here. So I put more on and then I had a dry rag here. And so if I do it in, in opposite order, hopefully uh, that will reverse the, um, reverse the blotchiness.
that's already starting to look more even. Uh, so I'm going to let this second coat of gold dry for a while, and then um, I'm going to come back probably with some 220 grit sandpaper um, just to lighten this up a little bit, and then start the um, a little of the teardrop pattern for the sunburst. The second coat is dry, and now I'm going to take 220 grit sandpaper to start making the teardrop shape. And then I'm going to go over the whole thing with 320 grit uh, just to make it smooth and to lighten up some of the edges. And then once the sanding piece is done, I'll go over the whole thing with a coat of yellow dye, and hopefully that will be it. Okay, so I've lightened up this sort of triangle-ish pattern here. Um, I've gone over the whole thing with 320 just to lighten it up a little bit. And so the last bit is to add in uh, a coat of yellow over the whole thing, uh, which I think is really going to make uh, the color um, really vibrant. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how the lemon burst is going. So the last piece I'm going to do is take the uh, neutral, which is effectively the solvent that you use um, to thin the dyes down to make different colors. I'm going to put it on my rag and wipe away in the middle just to further highlight um, the burst effect. Um, but overall, I think this is looking pretty good, and uh, I'm going to stop after this. You can see it takes off, you know, a considerable amount onto the rag. So I'll keep rotating it here so that I don't spread more dye. And then you can also use it to kind of smooth out the, um, the edges of the transition. Um, like I mentioned at the beginning, 
I'm pretty sure the gold dye here is just a mix of this yellow and a little bit of brown. And so since they were already the same color, the transition's pretty smooth, but you can also just lightly go over the outside here and smooth out any inconsistencies. I think that'll do it. So thanks for watching. Uh, that's how you can do a, a dirty lemon burst type finish uh, using two colors of leather dye.